Hey everyone, it's James from the Fit RV. Now, a little while ago, we put a video up on our site about Scrubba, a little wash bag that we thought we'd take along in our Class B RV. Everybody thought that was great, but does it work? Well, I've devised a little torture test for the Scrubba. Today, I rode my bike for 150 miles through Arizona and Southern Utah. This is the kit I wore. This pad was like right in my nether regions for 150 miles. Let's just say that these clothes are fragrant. So we're going to wash these per the directions in the scrubba. I've got the scrubba, I've got some uh, laundry soap, and we'll see how they come out the next day. If they come out smelling like roses, then I think we have a winner here. All right, let's get to work. Okay, the first step is filled with water, soap, and dirty clothes. So, we'll put those in there. Socks, bib shorts. All right, three items, good to go. Now, the only way I know I can get water in this, in this Class B RV is by using our shower head. So I'm gonna do that next. There we go. All right, so I'm filling it up to the line, and I've actually gone a little past the line, so I'm gonna shut that off. There's a little line on here that says where you're supposed to fill it to for a few items of clothes. That's what I've done. Next, laundry soap. I'm guessing I only need a tiny bit. Okay, next, it's roll and clip. So we'll give it a one, two, Three turns, I think, is sufficient for a dry bag, but I'm going to give it four. And we're going to clip it. And there's a lot of air in here. The next step is to deflate. They have a little air release valve. Come on, open up. Open up. Arr. All right. difficult. There we go. All right, that's good enough. Okay, so the makers of the scrubba say that uh, agitating this for three minutes will give you a machine quality wash. It's kind of hypnotic to rub on the bag, so I'm just going to go at this for three minutes and uh, we'll come back. It really is hypnotic. Okay, it's been three minutes, so the next step is to uh, dump it out and refill it with uh, rinse water. So, here we go with that. Okay, let's fill it again. This time I'm going to see if I can't get some of the air out before I roll up the bag. There. One, two, three, four. Now there are no specific instructions for agitating it for rinse, but I'm going to do that anyway. So back to the table. Alright, that could be a problem. It's tough to do. The next step is to dry the clothes. I'm going to show you a little trick I've picked up for that. Okay, so to do this, you're going to need a microfiber towel. Now, Scrubba sells a microfiber towel, but we got our own. So I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to wring out the clothes here, and then I'm going to lay them on the microfiber towel. And there we go. Wigwam socks, by the way. Shout out to the Wigwam people. I wore these Iron Man Ultra Max socks today for the 150 miles. No issues with the socks. Nice job. All right, so you set these things out on a microfiber towel. And then the trick is you sort of roll everything up in it and you're gonna squeeze out the water as you go to transfer the moisture from the clothes to the towel. go and 
Okay, now, the next thing I'm gonna do is hang them up. I start racing at 7 a.m. tomorrow. I'm not gonna come and check these before then, so they'll be good and dry by the time we do the wrap up. All right, there we go. This is a wet bath, so if they trip, it's okay. Um, these are hanging up now. They're gonna stay here while I race tomorrow, and uh, we'll come back tomorrow after the race and check it out. Hey everyone, I'm back. It's been another long day of racing, and uh, we're here with the results of our Scrubba torture test. So this is the kit I washed yesterday that I rode 150 miles in, and it looks pretty bright and clean. I don't see any gunk on the white, and it smells... It smells clean. Um, the socks also nice and white, and no funk there, but the big one is the cycling shorts. They look fine, they're mostly black, that would be a little tough to tell, but the white band came clean, and the chamois. They're okay. I would wear these again, or pack them away and drive home with them. So. As far as these torture tests, the scrubs seem to do a fine job on the nastiest thing I could throw at. By the way, don't ever sniff a cycling chamois. Anyway, um, the one issue we did have with the scrubber was the little uh, air release valve seemed a little difficult to operate. So something we figured out is if you kind of squeeze most of the air out like a baggie before you seal up the dry bag, that helps. But even so, the air valve is a little tricky to operate. So... Note to the scrubber people, if you can uh, upgrade the air release valve, that would be a win. Um, but as far as uh, cleaning clothes go, the scrubber worked great, and we're giving it a thumbs up, and we're going to keep it. Thanks, everyone. Bye.